Hello everyone and welcome back to my Secret World beta coverage with yours truly, Raids. That was a shit intro. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Secret World. It's been a while, hasn't it? But beta weekend is back and I am going to be recording quite a bit of footage for you guys. Seeing guys, last weekend I kind of just did all the side quests and stuff to give the people that were in the first weekend beta a chance to explore things for themselves. But now, in these next couple of episodes, I'm actually going to focus on the actual story quests. Which is something that I haven't done before, so I'm going to give it a go. This time, I have rolled a female character. Uh, and I'm going to be using fist weapons and chaos magic, which was uh, specifically asked for by a couple of viewers in private messages that I received. So let's get started out on these quests. So we need to locate the kings with survivors to learn more about the fog. So there isn't actually a marker for this, but on the map here there are small little icons of people that we can go and talk to. So I'm going to go and talk to Madame Roger first, and then we'll go from there, see what we can learn from her. I don't think we'll have to go and talk to all of the survivors, but maybe a, a few of them. So I'll just see which ones are closest and... Go and talk to those guys and also show you some combat with the fist weapons. So the fist weapons seems to be sing some single target and point blank AoE damage early on. Uh, the resource builds on yourself as many other melee weapons do. But the interesting thing about the fist weapons is, although it's like a big damage uh, weapon, you also have a nature ability which you can cast on a friendly target. And what, it, what that does is heals them over time, well heals them for a best amount of 36 and then heals them for 5 every couple of seconds after that. So it's quite good for self sustain while you're leveling up or even I guess in a dungeon just to help out on the tank just to take some of the pressure off the healer. I also using chaos magic but I can't afford a chaos trinket yet but I will pick one up as soon as we get some packs from Anna, I believe it's a hundred from the vendor that I'll need to pick up one of those. Hello. Okay, so we have Madame Roger. So we need to learn more about the fog, so let's ask her about the fog. I suppose I got lucky when the fog came. Let's take a sip of my tea. Um, tied up in here. <laughs> I had this uncontrollable urge to walk into the sea, let the waters swallow me. But I was unable to due to, you know, the plush handcuffs. This bitch is kinky. Very kinky. Is is that all she had to say? What? You have been not very helpful at all, have you, woman? Nope. Right, so I guess we're gonna have to go and visit a couple more people, seeing as she was tied up with plush handcuffs. I won't ask any more about that. So let's head over to Henry Hawthorne, who I actually believe we saw on the first weekend, but maybe he'll have some more information for us. So I'll just show you the jump animation for the female. It's kind of similar to the male, looks really strange, but Funcom has said that the jumping animations in the game at the moment are not final, so. Hopefully we will see some new and improved ones for the release of the game. Right, let's talk to Henry Hawthorne. Okay, this guy doesn't seem to want to tell us anything about the fog, so... Um, I guess we'll just ignore him for the time being. And maybe go and see... Huh. Well, I'll head down back towards the police station and then... Go to Norma Creed and Jack Boone. Hopefully they will be more helpful than Henry and Madame Roger. So hopefully they're going to uh, allow us to play Illuminati and the Dragon faction soon. Because even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing a Templar on launch, I'd like to experience... Uh, the other sides of the story just to really confirm that that's what I want to play and if in the process they happen to unlock some of the later abilities that would be greatly appreciated 
So I know there's some guys in here that we might be able to talk to. Vendor? No. Uh, Dr. Bannerman? Do you have anything to say? Uh, apparently not. Well, hey. So let's head outside. Survivor. Survivor. Oh, no, I do not want to join a team with you. So, there doesn't seem to be any survivors here. Actually, there's one. Maybe this guy knows something about it. Fog. Travel in the open country, you learn to be prepared for whatever the land throws your way. Faced with the elements, you gain a new appreciation and respect for nature. You come to accept how small and insignificant you truly are. Nature is neither good or evil. This guy isn't really it's telling me anything. There's nothing natural about the storm that rolled in on Solomon Island, or the fog that followed. It was evil of that fog, whispering to everyone in its path. The townsfolk followed the fog back into the sea, as if possessed. Tell me more. It was Deputy Gardner, and they saved my life. He grabbed hold of me when the fog got into my head, tied a rope around us both, kept walking the other way. It was like the whispers didn't get to him. When I finally got my wits back, the fog had rolled back out again to where it is now. We shook hands, and we started looking for survivors and building this fortress. Interesting. Tell me more. That man saved my life. Selflessly. And I love him for it. I'd go to the ends of the world and back for Andy. Romance. I don't think I'll ever win him over, though. Ah, so more than a bromance. <laughs> Good to you. Okay, so I actually want to try and speak to this Andy guy now, and there he is, ready for the talking. Uh, what? No. Why? Why can I not learn more about the fog? Well, yourself. When a good cop was always a good cop. When you knew you could trust a badge, right? You knew before the half hour was up, they'd get the gun. Out of the basement. Interesting, but it appears that guy has no more information for us. Oh, apparently these guys would like to give us some information. And we'll be met with fiery claws of doom. Taste vengeance. Alrighty then. So, I think that's all there is there. So, I guess we can head back down to Jack Boone and then cut across to see Norma Creed. And hopefully, find out what the hell this fog actually is. Let's drink some more tea. I've actually got quite a couple of other games that I want to try posting on my channel and if that's something that you guys would be interested in then please let me know. Mainly what I'm thinking of doing is uh, some League of Legends commentaries, like full games, uh, ranked solo queue. I'm about 1400 ELO now and I want to try and get to 1800 so what I'm thinking of doing is taking games where that go either really well or really bad and kind of analyzing them post-game commentary and seeing what I could have done better or what my team could have done better and just giving out general tips so that people can improve their playstyle and stuff like that. Actually, I believe we've been to this guy before. Does he know anything new? Apparently not. That sucks. So let's go cut across to the other woman. Also... I am going to be picking up Diablo 3 soon and trying to power up to Inferno mode and try and give you guys some tips on what the best way is to beat Inferno mode and how to farm it so you can make money off the real money auction house which I think is something that a couple of people might be interested in. Well, like I say, just let me know in the comments or in a private message if that's something that you would like to see. And what is this green floating thing? 
Huh. Oh, right. It's an enemy. Oh, stay still. Uh, I've got to say that the thing I don't like about that healing spell is the fact that it targets you again. Whoa. More of them. I get targets yourself. Which I don't like because then you have to retarget the wisp or whatever you're fighting. And it's kind of awkward. But hey, nothing too bad. And it is a useful spell. Right, where is this woman? Seems this place is infested with wisps. I'm just gonna try and run past as many of them as I can because they do take a while to kill. What on earth is that? Fire, fire. Well, I suppose Wispwood is an uh, accurate name for this place. Oh, I remember this woman. Whoa, okay. Finally, this is correct. Well, now, I'm not much fit for entertaining, but I reckon you ain't much in the mood for hospitality either. Nope. Am I right? You are right. Oh, not a big talker, eh? Nope. I'm used to that from a surly husband and kids more comfortable with kicking a ball around and having a conversation with their ma. Name's Nala. Is that blood? And I'm a creed. Raised a family up here before this dungeon thick fog came took him is my story. Helen sent you over to check on me, I reckon. Now, your concern is wicked kind, but I don't need any pitying. I got my shotgun, I got what's left of my wits. I'll manage. Now, this hullabaloo began after the Lady Margaret came back. My husband, Larry, the others. We all thought that they'd gone missing out there, but the sea took them. The day they came back, whole town could finally breathe again. But then came that fog, like it was following them back to shore. Twas right, said they, such birds to slay, that bring the fog and mist. Don't ask me where I got that from. Probably heard it on Oprah. Never got to ask Larry about what happened in those weeks they were gone. Been around gift horses long enough not to look them in the mouth. He was back. Thought life would go on the way life goes on. And the twist. The time. When the fog lifts enough to see the Lady Margaret laid up in the harbor, covered in that red seaweed, I always wonder if he'd still be here if I had. Okay, well, now let's go check out that big ass ship over there, see what we can find out. Maybe show you some swimming animations. What the? Uh, okay. Fager Impaler and Fager Sea Color. Oh, well, I guess that is why it's an 18 rated game, hey? Uh, I don't know if it's just me or these fist weapons seem to be doing hardly any damage. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be using my finishers before they stack up completely. I don't know. Stay still. What is it with all these enemies that like running away? Very annoying. I don't want to fight one of those big guys with the... Uh... No, please don't make me pull that guy. Okay. Whew, that was close. Alright, let's swim out over to the Lady Margaret. Okay, there's, it's, <laughs> the water's not deep enough to swim in, never mind. Run across, rather. Hmm. Very interesting. Come at me! Oh, I pulled two of them. Keep up my hot. Alright, oh my god, I'm standing in all this shit. This is not good. Oh my god, I'm, I may actually die here. These guys are doing a lot of damage and I seem to be doing not much myself. That attack seems to be very hard to dodge. Maybe I just need to keep moving while I'm fighting them. Give me a better chance of taking them down. Yeah, just 
try and heal myself up a bit. Oh, got a friend. I just gave me a nice little blood shield. Thank you very much. Wow, that guy just kind of one hit him. And I will say thank you for the help, my good sir. Because I am kind like that. Got some loot. Monies. Sigils. So it seems to me that the fist weapon seems to be very weak at the moment or should just constantly be used in conjunction with another ability. Uh, help out. Good old Suzy here. Uh, there we go. Actually, I have two AP, so maybe I can spend them in fist weapons just to try and make me a bit stronger. Uh, actually, there doesn't really seem to be anything I can pick up apart from increased duration on nurture, but I'll save up until I can get some more damage. Okay, defeat the captain, so maybe I can just help these guys out and get credit for it. We will see. And apparently not, so apparently that doesn't show you, you have to take on the captain yourself, which isn't exactly a good feature, but I'll live with it. Nice little lore object there. So just gotta wait for the captain to respawn now, so... I guess we should wait for that. Try and do some platforming in the meantime. That's what I do like about this game, you can just kind of jump up everywhere and anywhere. As long as there's an object to jump on, you can pretty much always get up there. Which is definitely something fun to do just while you're waiting for stuff to happen. Oh, I heard a noise. Okay, doesn't seem to be... That seems to be what the captain drops that you can loot, but that doesn't share. Which kind of sucks. But I will cut back when I have defeat. Oh, never mind. There she is. Hello. Well, that was uh, conveniently well-timed. Die, captain! There we go. Examine the captain's log. Lucky to be writing this. Can't believe what happened? Shouldn't believe it. That's what Doc Bannerman would say. Shrink's gonna be earning his pay when we get home. If we get home. Larry and his boy Derek are clammed up. Joe is real fevered. And this thing, still shining like a flashlight. I look over my shoulder. I swear I still see that fog. So we need to go and see Dr. Bannerman again. So I'm gonna head back down there. And I will cut when we are back at the police station. Alright, so we're back at the police station, and let's see what Dr. Bannerman has to say. What's, what is going on here? So, we, we have to talk to Dr. Bannerman, but... Okay, here we go. There just needs to be a dead Dr. Bannerman on the floor. Bannermanception? I do not know. The Lady Margaret was a traumatic experience for everyone on board. They were changed men when they came back. I visited with all of them in the days following their return. Okay, tell me more. In my office, there are detailed transcripts of our sessions. Fantastic. I'm afraid it all happened so fast that day, there was no time to pack. I hope they may shed some light on what happened out there. Well, I'm certainly sure they will. And he looks like the guy from CSI. Can't think of his name, but... I'm sure you guys know who I mean. Mr. Sunglasses, whatever his real name may be. So let's head out to Dr. Bannerman's clinic, get his records, find out what exactly is going on with the passengers of the Lady Margaret and those who disappeared from the fog. Fog. F O G. Wait, wait, that guy said he didn't have time to park when they left. His clinic is literally. 100 steps from the door of where he is right now and he can't I I don't even un understand anyway let's pick the lock oh solo instance another one of those and by the way if you guys haven't seen my first weekend coverage I will have an annotation at the start of the video 
one now and also one at the end of this video so you guys can go and check that out part five was especially interesting where there's another solo instance with some puzzle quests and really fun to be honest and this place is a mess jesus bloodstains dark rooms actually before i examine the files i want to just check upstairs see if there's anything interesting up there never know huh some tipped over tables and shut doors and more blood stains men and women okay let's go examine those files and see what's going on with that oh broken framed photo night helen and i met on the fireworks set to my favorite composer how cute well let's log online Kingsmith Medical Clinic, please make a selection. One, case database. Information in the case database is strictly confidential. Please enter your password. Enter hint for a password hint. Okay. Music of the seasons. Huh. Huh. Well, maybe we can find... Wait, well, it says... In this photo, it says... The night Helen and I met on the fireworks set to my favorite composer. So this guy is clearly a fan of music. But we need to know kind of what the music of Seasons is. Now, sadly, I am not a big fan of classical music or anything like that. So <laughs> this quest may prove some trouble for me. But we will give it a go nonetheless. See if there's... Anything obvious we can actually find from this photo, but I doubt it. Uh, I don't know, it's really hard to kind of get anything out of our photo without actually knowing what the composer is. Right. Let's type hint again. Music of the Seasons. No idea. I'll, tr I'll try autumn. Nope. Summer. Fall. Winter. Music of the seasons. <laughs> I really don't want to like look outside the game to get this, but I will have a think and get back to you guys when I have worked out what it may be. Actually, I just noticed that I can type hint again to get an alternate password hint, which is one seven two three okay well i will i will just type one two seven one two yeah one seven two three right that is the year of the composer so hmm i guess i'm supposed to use the in-game browser now so i go to the in-game browser and then type uh 17 23 Music of the Seasons. Vivaldi, the Four Seasons. That I actually like that. That's it. Kind of encourages you to look for things. Uh, what am I doing? Type a hint. Uh, Vivaldi. Here we go. So Vivaldi was the password. Uh, we're in now, uh, we can see the three cases. So let's check out the. Well, we can just check out the. Deviant Teenager and see what that is. Well, that's just... That's just, uh... Nothing really to do with that. So here's the La Lady Margaret instance. Regarding patients Derek Creed, Lawrence Creed, and Joe Slater. Lawrence and Derek Creed live at 5 Main Street. Joe Slater lives at 4 Belmont Avenue. They came to Dr. Bannerman after the Lady Margaret limped back into the harbour. All of them needed help, so I arranged separate interviews. Diagnosis is too early to tell, but something clearly happened on that ship. Let's look at Derek Creed's notes. Derek suffers, uh, suffers from severe headaches and a keen sense of paranoia. The similarities with Joe Slater and Lawrence Creed are alarming. It seems the symptoms develop at uneven rates, but I fear everyone on the boat might be affected with this, whatever it is. Now let's check out Lawrence Creed. Second call consultation with Lawrence today. The headaches are getting worse to the point where he can no longer function normally. 
The paranoia has not abated and he has developed a new symptom, night terrors. I prescribed an antidepressant, but his, if his debel development is anything like Joe's, I fear he will only get worse. Now let's check out Joe Slater. I saw Joe again today. This was the fourth consultation and I'm at a loss. He was barely coherent, his left leg twitched and he obsessively scratched his right arm. Paranoia has developed into se severe delusions. Consulted with Hartman in New York who suggested the symptoms are most likely signs of schizophrenia, which echo my earlier diagnosis. With others from the boat presenting similar symptoms, however, and the patient's lack of response to medication, I fear this might be something environmental. Something eating away at the brain. Prescribed clozapine, but I'm not optimistic. So now we have to look for Lawrence Creed and Derek Creed, but I'm just conscious of the time, so I'm going to save that for next episode, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. There'll be an annotation at the end of this video if you to click to either go to my first weekend if you haven't seen that yet or to the next episode whenever I get around to uploading it probably Monday the 21st of May so thank you again for watching guys uh, leave a comment if you have anything to say about the video I try to respond to them all uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this it lets me know that you guys are enjoying it as well as a like or dislike depending on what your opinion was on the video And so thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time